Hey everyone, Clef here. Uh, this is OTC episode two um, of the cuff. So a very simple concept where we just open the device, get a first hands on and preparation of the full review, which will come in in a later video. So today I have a device that is pretty, um, uh, what's the word, caused quite a, a healthy amount of controversy. First, because most people wondered if they were ever gonna deliver the product without expectations at this point, it just showed up on my doorstep. So here it is, the TGD T101. Now, it's kind of funny uh, to receive it at this point in time because a lot of talk is happening around One X Player and their you know, big PC, their, which essentially is a tablet with controllers attached. I don't think, unfortunately, I'm gonna be getting that one. Uh, I'm trying to speak with One X Player to see if we can find some kind of arrangement. So if ever you see this one netbook, let me know, maybe we can talk. Here's the box. Well, you have the front here. You know, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. You know what you're about to get, what you're about to see in the box. Here you have the specs. So this is the specs I've gotten. So I took the T640 because I thought, you know what? I do benchmark videos, so I would be able to benchmark that chip as well. Nothing here. Here we have the interface introduction. So. Oh my God, <laughs> oh, I completely forgot about that. Printed piece of paper, that's nice. And here it goes, oh boy. <laughs> I kind of forgot that I would uh, troll myself. I, I guess I would call it avocado green. And one of the reasons why I went for this device is I was really interested in the ergonomics of it. Somehow I felt, I thought, you know what? This, this could actually, feel nice. For all intents and purposes, the uh, 7640U should perform like the 6800U, give or take. So let's see, we have a lot of buttons. So the sticks here, they actually feel nice, but they, they're they a little tall. Uh, you know what, actually, let, let's put this aside for a second. I'm sorry, I, I, I got excited. Let's finish the box. So here we have what is probably the power brick. Oh, this is a 100 watt, nice. So 100 watt power brick, USB-C cable, then in there we have instructions. Let me put this aside. This is not membrane. All the buttons are mechanical. Okay, here we have you two USB C's, one USB A. What is probably the power? I would assume the power and uh, maybe a fingerprint reader. It kind of has the texture of a fingerprint reader, but it doesn't have the, like a ring around it, which I'm used to seeing. The microphone here. Um, the vent, I guess they, they printed the slot for a second vent, but I guess in R&D they decided not to, I don't know. Oh, I guess there's all LEDs here and on the other side, yep. At the bottom you have the micro SD, a 3.5 millimeter jack. And that is it. All right, let's build this thing. Satisfying peel, nice, nice, nice. Screen looks clean, no scratch. Let's power it up. Oh, there's there's a little red indicator, but nothing's happening. Okay, that is worrisome. Let's plug it in. Maybe it needs to be juiced up. Hey everyone, Clef from the future. So as I'm about to edit this video, I, I need to, there's a context that will be missing where I had a huge problem trying to power up the device for about 45 minutes. When I made those videos, my the, the first thing that comes to mind is always to be respectful of you, your time. Unfortunately, if I was to leave even like edited portions, the video would have been like 25 minutes long. And part of that would, ju would just have been me troubleshooting it which I think is important to show because people might run into that issue themselves and they might not understand what's going on and, and hopefully my experience might help them. But it would have just been a way too long video overall. So I just wanted to give you guys context. I As I'm doing this video, I'm probably gonna have the other portion just go by super rapidly. Uh, but yes, I did run into issues. If you're having issues yourself, please write in the comment box below. I'll do my absolute best to try and help you. And if somehow we can't make that happen, of course, I would recommend that you reach out to TJD. But yeah, there you have it. Let's continue on to the video. 
See, the, the thing is, when picking it up, it's hefty. It feels sturdy. It's an expensive device. That was not cheap. TJD is not necessarily a super known brand. I am glad to see that this product feels like quality and everything else is leaving me in doubt. I hear audio. I hear the fans. The touchscreen is working. This is a good sign. It just asked me for a pin. I, I read about this issue. Apparently just plugging a keyboard should fix it. So let me grab a keyboard. Here's how I think I'm going to be able to test this. Um, I'm in the screen. Nothing is happening. It seems as if it's stuck. But if you alt tab, you see those different windows. So I'm going to go to the pin window and assume that I just cannot see it. There are two ones. There's the pin up top and there's the pin at the bottom. So I'm just going to tap in my pin, do tab once, tap in my pin again, press enter. That seems to have done it. There you have it. Okay, so this is a fix. Now there's another fix. Someone on the Indiegogo posted a short where you can put a test account. I'm, I'm, I'm putting my own account, uh, but there is also another solution where you can um, put a test account and maybe you wanna do that instead. Uh, so I'll make sure to link that in the description box. Okay, we're here. I, <laughs> I don't understand why Epic games launcher is already installed in there uh look at this point i'm not trying to look for problems so i'm just gonna try to okay so we seem to have a control center here so this is good news the sound works um so here's what i'm gonna try right away let's try the micro sd make sure that, that works okay it sees that so that's good and let me try the headphones headphones work so that's good Now, I don't know if this is a headphone that supports microphone. I'll do all those tests for the final review, but according to the icon, it shouldn't be the case. And then last but not least, oh yeah, the last thing I wanted to check, let me unplug this. Seems like the battery is fine. I wanted to shake it. See if it... Okay, nothing part off so maybe we're good after all so the control center i'm not gonna go too deep i see that there are different presets of tdps here ultra cooling so i would assume this is for fans yeah fans are coming on oh because i put zero percent okay so this controls the led this is a straight to desktop yeah this is the button for the control center what does that button do does it open explorer no, so it's the home button, on-screen keyboard, Windows key. I mean, you know, assuming that keeps on working fine, this this feels nice. Screen at full brightness, it's gonna be very hard to show you guys, but it, it, it is bright. It definitely is bright. Um, how low can we go? We can go very low. I don't know that it is bedroom with the wife sleeping next to me uh, low enough. This probably wouldn't be the case, but it's fine. I'm going to keep it like that because it probably looks better for the video. Okay, so it is recognized as an Xbox 360 controller. The sticks feel very nice overall. Oh, this is, this is actually pretty good. I mean, I prefer the square over the circle, but all things considered. This, this has got to be health sensor. There's really no magnets whatsoever. Like, again, it's... They really have tweaked. It's gonna be hard to show you guys at the same time, but they really did a good job um, really producing. Like, there's very little give after I hit 100%, so that's good. The D-pad is kind of okay. And then let's test one of my favorite things. And then with hand and hand. Oh man, is that super noisy? Wow. Listen to that. Oh man, this is terrible. Yeah, this, I mean, the, the, the feeling, the feeling itself is not terrible. It's not the best. 
It doesn't, it doesn't feel like a rumble motor. It feels like those haptic units, but that is cranked up to 500%. Oh my God, is it extremely noisy? And you feel it, but you don't feel it all that much. That feels like a vibration off kind of device. And that's a lot for me to say because I love vibrations. Mic check, mic check. Okay, the microphone works. All right, well, Now, there doesn't seem to be a mode for the controls to operate as a mouse. At least I have not seen anything. Oh, gamepad, mouse. So they have a mode. R1 is right click, L1 is left click. Okay. The color, I'm kind of getting used to it. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people will be like, what the heck is this guy doing? Because it definitely looks weird. But I don't know. I, yeah. I would need to find a screen protector. I don't really like the idea of using this device without having something to cover this big screen. I guess the bezels, like considering this, there's there's a fair amount of bezels, but considering the size of the screen, it's, it's really not all that exaggerated. Um, while this is downloading, the triggers, you know some triggers kind of have a little bit of a click at the end? They don't. There's definitely a noise. Right side is more noisy than the left. But again, they do feel great. They have a little bit of resistance to it. If that should tell you one thing though, until there's an actual review, as far as the sensation goes, it's actually quite decent. Like you'd be surprised how decent it feels in terms of ergonomics. Having discovered using, say for example, the Galileo G8, which I have a review on my, on my channel for it, uh, with a Samsung Tab S8, you know, if streaming is an option, I would think that that option could easily rival this one. You have a 120 Hertz screen, you have a bigger screen, you have better controls with the Galileo overall, I find, but this is very close. And the ergonomics feels great. Although I will say, because this is all one unit, obviously it makes sense. It does feel a little better in terms of ergonomics and just balance overall. Like th that would be the closest that would come to mind in comparison. But that also tells me one thing. I would expect the One X Player X1 to actually feel very, very nice. And knowing one netbook has been in the game for quite some time, I would expect the build quality to be phenomenal. Honestly, I, like as I'm talking about it, I'm, I'm, I'm debating, but I have so many of these devices. At some point, you know, I, I have to be, I have to be, uh, what's the word, profitable before I can invest that much. So on the latest uh, version for AMD, so I should be able to inject um, FSR into Power World at some point. I'm not gonna do that now, but it should be feasible. I mean, I'm not trying to make this a benchmark video. I'll keep benchmarks for the review. But uh, guys, I mean, I don't know what else I could show, right? It works. Now, of course, I haven't been playing this for 30 minutes or anything, but it's working. And the sound looks rich. I'm not really hearing fan noise. The device is warm, but not alarmingly so. Man, there has been so many feelings <laughs> in this video. Went from, I just got a brick to, okay, that actually might be decent. That might be very decent, in fact. Oh. A little bit of hiccups here, but to be fair, maybe there's a little bit of cash that needs to be built. But yeah, I mean, this device seems to be working. Now, what's the resolution that we have here? So it's 1200, huh? Uh, let me see. So. It seems, I would assume, based off of this little icon that I'm at 15 watt, let's let's push 30 to see what happens. Oh yeah, it's already a lot smoother as well.
I mean, you can't tell me you wouldn't be able to play this. And look at that. The avocado green kind of fits with the landscape of the game. <laughs> I mean, it does, right? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm not gonna... This video was long enough, believe me. That was easily an hour, if not more, for me. So I'm gonna end it here. There will be a review coming for this. If you have questions, if you have inputs, whatever, uh, comments even about the format, let me know in the comment box below. I, I'm trying to think how I will be able to condense this video. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will really this time see you on the next one. Peace.